one of the questions we often get asked in our office is what is the difference between the type of legal entity and the type of tax entity? And they are two very different things. When we're talking about a legal entity, we are talking about the type of entity that you are for your state's statutory purposes. Um, and, the, and the statutes generally are going to govern how you're formed, um, the obligations between the owners uh, to each other, uh, how meetings are held, um, things like that are typically what are gonna be governed by the statute. So take a corporation. The statute's gonna lay out you know, what needs to be in the articles of incorporation in order to be validly formed. Uh, the statutes will govern or address how shareholder meetings are held, how a board of directors are elected, um, what bylaws should contain, um, those types of things. Those are the things that are typically addressed by the statutory provisions. Most state statutes have three or four different types of entities. You can be a sole proprietorship, you can be a corporation, you can be a partnership, or you can be a limited liability company. Now, with, within those categories, there's, depending on the state, there is a lot of different subcategories that you can choose from, but those are the basic categories of entities that can be formed for state law purposes. But that doesn't necessarily govern how you are taxed. How an entity is taxed can be different from the way it is set up for state law purposes. Entities are basically taxed in two ways, as a pass-through entity or as a tax-paying entity. A good example of a tax-paying entity is a C-corporation. A C-corporation uh, has income and it pays tax on that income itself. An example of a pass-through entity is a partnership. The partnership itself earns income, but it does not pay tax on that income. That, that income is passed through to the partners of the partnership, and the partners pick up that income on their personal income tax return. So that is the pass-through nature of a partnership. So when you are creating an entity, the choice that you choose for state law purposes is not necessarily the choice that you have to make for tax purposes. A corporation generally is going to be taxed as a corporation. The one exception to that is an S corporation. A entity that is organized as a corporation for state law purposes can elect to be treated as an S corporation for tax purposes. And an S corporation is basically a pass-through entity. So the S corporation does not pay tax itself like a C corporation does, but its earnings are passed through to its shareholders. Another type of pass-through entity is a partnership, and both general partnerships and limited partnerships are pass-through entities. A limited liability company really has the ability to elect for tax purposes to be treated as any of the above. It can elect to be treated as a C corporation, it can elect to be treated as an S corporation, it can elect to be treated as a partnership, and if you are a single member LLC, meaning you're a limited liability company that is owned by one person, you can be treated as a sole proprietorship. So those are the various types of tax elections that can be made. And again, they are not necessarily dependent at all on the type of election that you make for state law purposes.